The IGL is the most important and responsible role in Counter-Strike. At the same time, it's a difficult one, because as the team leader, the player has to watch more demos and less matches, come up with tactics and spend less time on individual skills. That's why IGLs often end up with a negative KD. And when a team goes through hard time, the captains becomes the scapegoats. The tactics don't work, you don't frag out, the team is unhappy with the calls. So let's kick you out and get a younger fragger. There are plenty of such stories in CSGO, too many to count. Today we will tell you a few stories of betrayal by teams against their captains. This is Farmskins, grab some tissues, we'll cry together. These days Kerrigan is considered one of the best captains in the world. He won a major, an Intel Grand Slam, a bunch of tier 1 tournaments and players flourish under his leadership, showing world class CS, Nico, Twists, Robs, Device. These are the top tier players and they all worked under Kerrigan. But the Dane actually has a rather dramatic history with the teams he brought up from nothing. Back in 2014, the future Danish powerhouse was emerging in Team Dignitas with Device, Dupree and Zypex. They played good CS. The team often hovered at the top of the world rankings, but they always fell just short of a trophy. The roster clearly lacked a strong leader who could take over the game and build a powerful team of these promising shooters. In February 2015, Kerrigan took on that role. The Dignity score transfers to TSM. They are joined by Danish captain Finn Andersen. First of all, Kerrigan decided to work with Device, seeing huge potential in him. At the time, Nikolai was an inconsistent opera, afraid to make a sound or take initiative. Kerrigan needed an aggressive sniper who wasn't afraid to pick an opponent and find an opening frag. Device worked very hard studying heat maps to understand where opponents play most often and where he could find a frag. Kerrigan helped Nikolai in every way while structuring the Danes game. The work paid off quickly. TSM rapidly became a top team in the world, winning multiple tournaments in 2015. Face it, League 2015, PGL Season 1, Fragbite Masters Season 4, but the guys' main goal was a major they couldn't quite reach yet. A year later, the players decide to leave TSM and form their own organization, Astralis. An organization created by players for players. The Danish machine led by Kerrigan continued to play great CS. They were at the top of every tournament, but those coveted trophies still eluded them. Then, on October 11, 2016, Astralis parted ways with Kerrigan. The captain had brought out device potential, discovered Zypex's incredible clutch ability. The team was constantly in the top four at every tournament. But they wanted victories, and they didn't want Kerrigan. Finn was immediately signed by FaZe Clan. At the time, FaZe had strong aimers but no proper IGO. The team just ran around shooting. It was total chaos on the server. But Kerrigan didn't try to change the team's style. He realized this chaos could become the team's trump card. They just needed a bit of tactical finesse, which is what the Dane provided. And when Guardian, Nico and Olofmeister joined the squad, FaZe's full fiery potential was perfectly unlocked. Kerrigan was the first in CS to show that tactics don't matter when you have four strong fraggers who can shut down full eco pushes single-handedly. FaZe started dominating, winning Season 3 of Star Letter, ESL 1 New York 2017, IEM Sydney 2018 and many other Tier 1 events. But Kerrigan lost the most important grand final of his career. E-League Major Boston 2018, defeated in the grand final by Cloud9. FaZe basically gave away the game even though Kerrigan could have proven to Astralis that he wasn't the problem. But he would prove it a bit later. In late 2018, FaZe made the odd decision to kick Kerrigan and bring in Adrian instead. It's not like FaZe was performing terribly, they just slipped up at the key moments and for some reason concluded that Finn's tactics had stopped working, so he got kicked. Did FaZe start playing better after this transfer? No. Did they make a mistake? Absolutely. Did they win a major under Kerrigan's leadership? Yes, but much later. Finn was betrayed twice. But he didn't give up and finally won a major anyway. He's 32 years old, still grinding away at the game you love. But this one eluded you time and time again. How does that feel in your hands? To be honest, never back down. Doesn't matter how hard life hits you. I've been bent a few times, came back. All I wanted in my life was wanted to make history that an international team won a major and we fucking did it in here! A story that will leave you touched, the biggest drama in CIS Counter-Strike history. 
Zeus is the best captain in Navi's history, the man who stood at the helm of his team since its founding. With him, Navi was one of the best teams in the world. Under Zeus, they won many tournaments. Pro League, Star Ladder, ESWC, IEM San Jose, Dreamhack. This was a team everyone was trained hard for. They were feared and respected. At one point, Navi ran into a problem – eternal second places. Dreamhack opened Cluj Napoca 2015, ESL Pro League Season 2 – second place, Star Ladder – again second, MLG Columbus 2016 Major – and another second place. Navi had become a team of second places. Clearly, some psychological issue was causing them to choke in Grand Finals, but Navi was convinced it was Zeus' fault. Behind the captain's back, Flamey and Seized organized a plot to kick Tislenko after the next unsuccessful tournament. June 2016, Zeus found out they wanted to kick him from a friend who saw the rumor online. Johnny gathered the team to talk, and that's when they decided to stab him in the back. The same Seized and Flamey were the loudest saying Zeus was the problem. Edward defended Donny, while Guardian took a neutral stance. It was a very difficult conversation. Afterwards, Zeus went to a bar, where Starix came up to him and recommended joining Gambit. Danny held up bravely, but as soon as he got back to his room, the emotions overwhelmed him. He lay face down on his pillow crying. His team, his seemingly close friends and family, were traitors. In August, Navi signed Simple and made Seized captain. Under Costin's leadership, the born winners only won one tournament. ESL won New York 2016. After that, it was just failure after failure. Seized Cromdell as a captain. Meanwhile, Zeus tweeted, I'm not going to give up before I win a motherfucking major. And he kept his word. On July 23, 2017, Gambit sensationally won PGL Krakow Major. Zeus led his team to victory. It was a real triumph. And Zeus cemented himself forever as the best CIS IGL in history. You tweeted, I will not give up till I win a mother beep in major. You just did that. Now what are you going to do? I just say, all of my stuff, I love you. And second, God help me and I won measure. The last story should be a lesson to you. Alexi B is the man who lifted Finnish Counter-Strike off its knees. In 2018, Alexi B joined Ants as captain. No one expected the Finns would be able to play well. But somehow, Alexi B found a way to unlock his team's potential. First of all, he discovered the 16-year-old Finnish player Sergei. He was the star of the team. With him, Ants immediately started confidently qualifying for big events and Lance Alexi B team showed good results. First place at Star Letters Season 6, 7th, 8th at ESL 1 Cologne, first place at Dreamhack Winter. In one year, Ants jumped from 193rd to 13th place in HLTV rankings. Alexi B brought Finnish CS to the Tier 1 level. The team's peak was IEM Katowice 2019, the major where Simple lost that famous clutch to 7, allowing the Finns to reach the grand final where Astralis awaited. Of course, the Danes took home yet another major trophy, but in any case, Ants overachieved. After the major, the team reached third place in the HLTV rankings. They won Blast Madrid and cemented themselves as a top 5 team in the world. Later, at the Berlin Major, Ants crashed out in 5th place. Afterwards, Alexi B was offered a new two-year contract with a buyout around half a million euros, but then management benched him. The young fragger Sonny took his place. This change killed the team's synergy, and Ants fell off a cliff into Tier 3 obscurity. As it later became known, Alu was a shareholder in the Finnish organization and he really didn't like Ants being associated with Alexi B rather than him. So he decided to pull this trick, screwing over his team's captain and locking him to the bench for two years. Discapable, but such is life. Alexi B lifted Finnish CS off its knees only to take a knife in the back, repeating the path of Kerrigan and Zeus, though he has yet to win a major. Leave a comment about your favorite IGL. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you soon, friends.